Hey guys, I have a special video for anybody interested in a functional medicine approach, which is trying to get to the root cause of your symptoms instead of just going to the traditional medical doctor and getting a pill for every ill. Um, I have a testimonial recently from a, a young patient of mine that was experiencing a slew of issues and um, this is for the people that are so sick and tired of the medical system not getting to the root cause. Uh, for example, you'll hear in this one that this lady was told that she had her, all her digestive issues were coming just from anxiety. And uh, you'll see why uh, we have the best approach for healthcare. And I hope that this resonates and gives you guys hope for the people that are suffering and they have answers out there for you. So uh, give a listen. And uh, if you need anything or have any questions, please don't hesitate to call. Chesley and I have um, been talking and she's gotten results and she wants to share her experience with the functional medicine community in the hopes that she really um, motivates people to make some uh, positive change in their life. So can you tell them a little bit about what you're saying, kind of like your journey and what it took to kind of get you ultimately to here and then feeling what you feel like you should be feeling? Okay, sure. So I was sick for about a year and the way it started was I went on my honeymoon and I got very sick and um, just, got very ill and went to many doctors. And the first doctor I went to said I had anxiety, um, blood work was fine. So a few weeks later, I still was not so well. So this was in your, your you had and abdominal the, pain? Yes, and lots pushed, of they, stabbing pain. Did a check in that and then they said you have yeah, anxiety? Yeah, first my stomach said, this is anxiety because your blood work's fine. Ugh, okay. And then the second time it was, let's do some more blood work, you know, let's um, let's try you on some imeprazole. Okay, so, so take that meth result to people is a proton pump inhibitor, so it stops your acid production, which isn't really going to help the health of your digestive system at all. But yeah, so I I took that for a few months, um, then they you know prescribed me some anxiety medicine, um, you know Buspirone. Tried that, yeah. that did not still help. Now the gut is in severe pain. Mm -hmm. uh, my stomach's in pain. I'm also having panic attacks all the time. Um, so then we decided to do an ultrasound on my kidneys. They thought, oh, it was kidney. Okay. Um, ultrasound came back fine. I ended up going to a new doctor okay. for another um, opinion. Okay. And I was told I needed to get a scope, um, but they couldn't get me in for another three or four months. So then I dealt with that pain while taking a Medversol. Ah. Went off the Medversol at the scope. I was very hopeful. Um, I was fine. I was told I was fine. Okay. And then the doctor said, this is anxiety. Okay. We need to work on this. And it was just stabbing pain for many, many months. It was actually a year until I came here. Okay. And then I came here and um, the test showed, you know, that I definitely had an infection. Yes. And the, the test we did was a, a functional stool analysis mm -hmm. test that tells you function of digestive system. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I... I mean, I started that in October, and I would say by the beginning of December, I felt, you know, like I was on the right track. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't, I had this stabbing pain. I felt for a year, every day, stabbing pain in my left side, um, nausea, mm -hmm. every day for a year, wow. panic attacks. And I mean, this is after I've tried everything, and now here I am, like taking these supplements, mm -hmm. and I'm feeling so much more like myself. And it just feels good for someone to be like, it's not just all anxiety. Yeah. You don't just need more anxiety medicine. You don't just need, you know, obviously counseling is good, mm -hmm. but yeah. to know that like there is something at the core. And I knew that it was just, yeah. you guys were the first people to test yeah. those things. Yes, yes. Um, you, so you got the uh, uh, protocol based on the stool analysis test results that mm -hmm. I analyzed. Mm -hmm. And then the protocol, um, cured the abdominal pain, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the nausea, mm -hmm. and then you had um, SIBO, SIBO mm -hmm. uh, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and that feels a lot better. Mm -hmm. That was mm -hmm. causing what? Bloating and 
Lots of bloating. Also, um, just stools were off uh, um, for stools. for months. Yeah. I yeah. mean, months. Then you also mentioned, um, I think the cramping or something like that yes. that improved mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah, I had foot cramps from October. Well, for a year, I had foot cramps for a year, and when I started these supplements, I noticed like my feet weren't cramping. I never had foot cramps. Mm -hmm. I never had this many panic attacks. I mean, like the nausea was 24 seven. Um, and a lot of those things have gone away. I haven't had any foot cramps, thankfully. So. so the link between that for the viewers, is if you're suffering with foot cramps and you're just taking magnesium or potassium, which, you know, may help, we don't know, but, um, but when you don't have healthy digestion, you can't absorb well. So the, the actual sign, the symptom, you know, and you don't just take a muscle relaxer, <laughs> you get to the root cause of why you're getting muscle cramps and digestion plays a huge role in that. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. All right, well, thank you for sharing your, yes. uh, your journey so far. And I hope that we continue to keep improving and improving and living your best life. All right, thanks, appreciate thank your you. time. Thanks.